His video covers the diagnostic criteria for Arthrocalcia Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, or AEDS. AEDS is incredibly rare, with less than 1 in 1 million people being affected. We are going to review the new 2017 diagnostic criteria for AEDS. The formal evaluation and genetic testing are required for a diagnosis which include major and minor criteria. Skin biopsy is mentioned below, but is rarely used as it can only rule out other types of EDS. The major criteria includes Congenital bilateral hip dislocation Severe hypermobility Dislocations and subluxations and Stretchy skin In terms of hypermobility, People with AEDS have hypermobility more pronounced than is seen in hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos syndrome or tested in the Beaton scale. Minor criteria include muscle hypotonia, which is low muscle tone. Kyphoscoliosis which is when someone has both scoliosis and kyphosis. Mild osteopenia is lower than average bone density. Characteristic facial features are also important and include wide-spaced eyes, epicantal folds, large anterior fontanelle, and micrognathire or small jaw. Epicantal folds are in the inner corners of eyes and are common in young children, people with Down syndrome, and those of Asian descent. Further minor criteria includes an abnormality of subcutaneous fat tissue. Aphasia or difficulty finding words. A vascular necrosis of the hip bone. Coxavalgar. Tissue fragility and easy bruising. The coxavalgar is a condition in where the hip bone is not at the proper alignment as compared to the coxa norma. The hip attaches and is more open than the normal hip bone. Genetic criteria is also necessary for diagnosis. AEDS is autosomal dominant meaning a child needs one gene to get AEDS. There is a 50% chance of parsing on AEDS. The genes affected in AEDS include the COL1AM1 and COL1AM2 genes which guide the formation of type I collagen which is the most abundant collagen type in the body. Skin, bones, and tendons are especially weakened by this mutation. This is the end of the diagnostic criteria for AEDS, please click the like and subscribe button if you'd like to learn more about Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and other rare conditions. You can also follow me on Instagram for more regular posts at chronic.care. Thanks for watching. Stay rare.